Hey everyone, Arnaldo Offerman, Master School Dances. Let's go ahead and do the next step in CompuShell for your or your first board setup, and that is organizing your fixture groups. Right now you're going to see that I have a representation of the lights that I've installed so far. I have the Novas, I have the Mega Tripar Profiles, the Accu UFO, the Martin Mania EFX500, the Chave V3, and the Chave Color Strip. We're going to take the Nova scans, we're going to leave them exactly as they are. I'm going to go ahead and select this, which basically means that I can select and move with one click. I'm going to take my American DJ Mega Tripart Profiles. They're kind of the star of the show because they're the important part, as they're floods. We're going to move them right there. The Accu UFO, the ADH Accu UFO Pro will go there and we'll put the Mania over here. Really, the Accu UFO kind of goes in the center, so we'll kind of leave it there. And uh, the views are usually used off to the sides. I'm just kind of going to leave them there. Color strip is also used as a flood, so we'll also leave it there. I don't usually, I never use both at the same time because these are just way more versatile. But we still have the color strip, so we're going to use those occasionally. Now, the reason you want to do this is because later on, as you see, there's lots of options in CompuShow that are going to allow you to take advantage of your fixture groupings and such. But we're going to go ahead and um, create some fixture groups, and it's very simple. First, I'm going to select all my Mega Tripar profiles. And we're going to call this group Tripar All. Pretty simple. And of course, I'm doing this within my master page as well. That's why it's showing all this. If I click on just a color strip then, or uh, Nova Scans, it would only show that particular fixture grouping. I'm going to go ahead and cre uh, click, for example, every other mega tripar. One, there's one, two, oh, yep. So there's one, two, three there. And we're going to call this tripar odd. Then I'm going to create over here. And we're going to call this tripar even. Then we're going to maybe take all the floods together. And we're going to call this floods all now I can do the same thing with the novas right we're going to take the novas and we're going to call them nova all we're going to take one two whoops one two three nova odd one two three nova even now, how is this going to help out? Well, later on, as we do things such as uh, embedded inside a button, which is almost like a scene within a scene within a scene. We'll call that scene-ception. Or as you're programming, if you want to quickly grab all your floods, you can do that. As you're programming, if you just want to start by doing something with all the odd-numbered tripars or all the even ones, you can do that as well. And, of course, you can combine groupings as you need to. So, again, you have lots of different options. Well, again, that'll be covered later on, but that's something that's really important. Set this right away. Don't do what I did the very first time. Ignore it because later it becomes a pain to organize. But this is your fixture group. Of course, you can have it without the text. I personally like the text. And you can even have it, you know, automatically select all, select every other one. I mean, just, you know, or deselect, etc. A few different options. But again, play around with this. Check it out. Have it all set up because you're going to need this for later tutorials. Thank you so much, and God bless.